Hi guys. The adventure begins. Ready for another adventure. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna do Marmot Lake. Try to go to Jade Lake, maybe dip toe depending on the snow. We're starting the trailhead right now. We've got our packs. All right here. That's the camera here. Ready to go. So anyway, <laughs> this is the beginning of the video. Let's begin. Let us begin. Hi. Hey, you're gonna have some river crossings. It's only been about 10 minutes into the hike. So there's a little roundabout. Okay. Sometimes you just catch a frog while you're on the trail. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mike. At a little river crossing. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you about that fine? Oh, Why? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Just some fun facts for you. All right, on our way to Highest Lake, almost there. There's a trail. Working on it. Okay, bye guys. Hey, Highest Lake, taking a little stop to eat a snack. So beautiful. So far, easy going. Probably about, I think it was about three, four miles. Close to three, maybe, three and a half. As I blow bugs off me, sorry. Lots of bugs. Bring mosquito nets, bug spray, deet. Taking a little snack break. Time to keep going, onward. Oh, and also, safety gear. Fair spray, walkie talkies. We're gonna be here for a couple of days. Garmin, very useful as a pepper spray. Maps, you know, all the things. Have the safety things. Okay, bye. Stopping to pump some water. Almost to the Tuck and Robin intersection. Getting some fresh water and cooling up. Some down trees, but wasn't too bad. Not so far. Okay, made it to the Pacific Crest Trail. Uh, bifurcation, I guess we could say. Fork in the road. And we're gonna go this way. This is where the snow is starting. A lot of the snow is melting. We had a lot of people tell us that they were worried because there's like an ice bridge that's kind of melting down and we like we might be able to make it over, but then we might not be able to make it back. So make it. making decisions. Making decisions. Alright, I keep hiking. Bye. Okay, hi guys. Okay, so we're at the campsite now. We had too many people tell us that on the way down, it was getting really sketchy with like an ice bridge that was melting and there was a rope to hold on to. So we were like, oh, so we kind of used the map. We found a lake called Hasbiz. Hasbiz, H-O-Z-B-I-Z-Z, -Z -Z, Hasbiz. Anyway, it's really beautiful. I will, uh, I'm gonna stop this and show you guys, but we decided to stay here. Uh, the lake is frozen, so there's not too much of a lake, but there's streams, and there was about a campsite or two. Um, and we may go check out the ice bridge tomorrow, Marmot, Jade, but if not, that's okay. That's backpacking, right? And then we'll head back to Highest Lake. So, this is our adventure. All right, hold on. Here you go. This is Hasbiz. It's about dusk. It's about 7 p.m. It's a big bowl, basically, with a bunch of waterfalls. It's really pretty, very relaxing, very majestic. It's our tent over there. And we have our food set up a little bit of ways, and so we're gonna relax for the night, see what tomorrow brings, what adventure tomorrow brings. Safety first, guys, you know? It's like, cross an ice bridge and die, or you know, go see a pretty lake, so maybe not today. Okay, bye. Good morning from Hasbiz Lake that is frozen right now. I've got the mosquito net on. Make sure you have one of those. Um, there's a lot of bugs up here, a lot. Um, we are making some breakfast, which I will show you in a second. Um, we might hike up to Marmot Lake and check out that ice bridge today, or we might relax. We haven't decided, so. All right, that's our update. Best in our little food area. Some oatmeal and some coffee. <laughs> I'm sure all you backpackers know the drill. With a beautiful background. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> he didn't want me to record him in a mosquito net. <laughs> Super beautiful. All right. The adventure continues. Okay, bye. Okay, people, day two. 
So we had enough energy today that we were like, let's try. Let's try to go to Marmot. We're just gonna go check out the ice bridge and see what it looks like. We can't cross it, we can't cross it, but we're gonna try. So after you cross the big bowl with the waterfalls, um, just keep going, but you may have to follow GPS and make sure you have a map because it's a lot of snow. If you come in when there's a lot of snow. There's some footsteps, but don't always trust the footsteps of other people. Make sure you have a map. So I'll show you guys where we're at and then we'll keep on trucking on. There we go. That's what it looks like. Stuff like this. It's basically after the waterfalls, you just get muddy, muddy trails and snow patches, long snow patches. So have that GPS guys. All right, I'm running outward. So you get to the point of Marmot where you get to this snow bank and there's basically snow and an ice bridge. You can walk across it until it starts to melt. There's a rope down there and it's been melted and there's a big crevasse in the middle. We were like, mm, yeah, not doing that for sure. Um, so then we were like, well, maybe if we crawl up this, there is a big land strip of boulders up there. So we crawl up, go across the boulders, come down to safety on the trail across. And what we decided, babe? Not safe. Not safe. Don't do that. Because we got as far as we could and then rocks started to slide with like mud and everything. So if you get here soon, not the best idea. Or if you get here when there's snow and it's melting. So you know what? We are proud of ourselves for giving it a good go. We're going to make smart choices and go back to our cool camp. And then we're going to hike down to Highest Lake tomorrow and go fishing. And not die. <laughs> That's what you do. Okay, bye. Well, on our way back to camp and just kind of stopping to take a little footage filming. It's another job. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty scary. We go back to our little campground by the waterfalls and head down to Highest. So gorgeous. Good time. Don't ever cross river crossings if you don't think you can. That's the point of the trip. <laughs> Okay, bye. Sun's starting to set. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, day three. Wednesday. Waking up to absolute paradise at his buzz. His buzz? His buzz. I don't want to say it. His buzz lake that's slowly melting. That's not melted yet. We're getting ready to go. And we're going to head back down to highest since we couldn't cross that ice bridge. But it has been three magic filled days. We were the only people here. It was wonderful. So awesome. All right. Moving down to the next camp. We got about five miles to go. And we'll be down to highest lake. We made it. Highest lake. Beautiful camping spot. I get to use my high, my hammock. I'm so happy. I'm going to read. I'm so excited. And we're bummed that we didn't make it to Marmot, but we've got this super relaxing spot. We're going to fish and camp. So hey, if you don't make it to Marmot, you've got Hosbiz where we stayed, and you can always come back to Highest. Super beautiful. Super beautiful. It'll be open soon. It's yeah. coming. Yeah. Or depending on what time of year you watch this, because when I post it, who knows what time of year it is. <laughs> so anyway, okay. There's our report. Bye. Oh, and I just took a highest lake bath, which was fabulous. Super cold. But I fabulous. Watched, like, <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was great. I highly suggest it. Okay, bye. Okay, here is highest lake for you guys. Doing my filming thing right now. Just figured it'd give me a little view. Turn on my camera. It's really beautiful. The color is amazing. Highest Lake. Day four. Nature laundry. <laughs> I learned if you get Planet Earth, they're like laundry detergent strips. Um, super light, easy to put in your pack, and then you use a stuff sack with water. And if you're gonna be out for like a week or so, it just, you know, elongates your laundry. 
Anyway, back at camp. Gonna go film day four. Okay, bye. Okay, day five. Longest backpacking trip I've ever done. It was so fun. It was a nice little test for a longer backpacking trip. I'd love to do like the PCT or different trips like that. So we had enough food, we had enough supplies, we made safety choices, and it was a really good time. It was fun being able to pass on some of the knowledge that I was taught, so now I've got a nice buddy to backpack with. No matter where you are, what you're doing in nature, it's just magic. It's always pure magic. Highest Lake, attempt to marmot, camped at Husbiz. It was a really good time. Happy trails out there, guys. Be safe, have fun, make good choices. Enjoy nature, it's so beautiful. Butterfly Palooza. <laughs> Butterfly party on the trail. What? It's really a fairy party. Fairy party, fairy yeah. Incognito. That's so true. Those are their big fairy wings. <laughs> they just look like butterflies to us. So pretty. They're like, hey, how's it hanging? How are you doing? Great party last night. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. All right, end of the trip. We just dropped our permit off. We're going to go to the car. We're super excited to take a shower. So over it. <laughs> to eat a burger. That was the longest backpacking trip I've ever done. Five days. This guy was a champ. First big backpacking trip. Did amazing. This girl was a champ. She's amazing. We didn't kill each other. We didn't die. Mostly. Yeah. Caught a fish. He caught a bunch of fish. We saw a deer. Two deer. And yeah, it's a good we trip. We came, we saw, we conquered. We conquered. All right. Well, happy trails, people. Enjoy the video. Bye.